Hey guys, Kevin here doing a walk around on this 2021 Jayco Redhawk 31F. I open up all the storage compartments. I really like how they do this one piece molded cap. It just has no seams in it, like a lot of the other brands. Definitely better for keeping away from the leaking problems. So this is your generator compartment down here. It's so one in 4,000. Nothing too exciting about that, but I do like how they have a vented area. Not a lot of brands are doing that. Helps keep them nice and cool. Another thing I really appreciate about their storage compartments is how they have these, the way that they open, especially when you're trying to get down under the slide and you have this door that doesn't fall all the way down. Those are, um, especially if you were ever to, um, for example, you say, let's say one of them pops open on the road. As soon as that thing's hanging down, it's just ready to hit something. And I've had it happen before where they get crushed, but just the fact that you've got something protecting it and it just feels like a uh, more sturdy, I don't know. I uh, never seen it before. So first time I've actually noticed that with these. So you got an old storage compartment here and this is just your power cord. Another decent sized one that has a light in there. And down here you've got uh, your dump station, which I really like also that everything's inside. Your outside shower, you can turn on light apparently. Water pump access, and then tank flush, which is really cool. So you hook up to that when you're cleaning out your tanks and you basically got like a sprinkler system going into your uh, black tank to keep it all cleaned out. All right, so this is your bigger storage compartment here. That goes in pretty deep. You can see and that one opens side to side. This is a, uh, it's a propane quick connect for your grill. And you got another storage compartment here. So a lot of compartments down, down the side of the coach. Two more on this side. Got an outlet in there and a TV connection. And this one. And then here's your propane here where you'd fill it up. Outside speakers, just one on each side. Nice big electric awning. As we take a look inside, got your main disconnect over here. All right. Up here, I like that you have some lights and then some little bit of storage up in there. It's kind of framed in well. These seats are swivel seats down here. So you've got a little booster like this one here. So when you swivel them around, you can set that on top to have a little bit better seating position, especially if you're an adult. This TV is on an arm, so it moves around a little bit. Dinette. Got some under lighting. It's kind of nice. I like these black shades. They're kind of different too. You've got a full wall slide. And this definitely flips out into another bed space. It's like a jackknife sofa. Hard to do one handed, but you get the idea. Got some more controls up here. Only 80 hours, 80.4 hours on the generator, so it hasn't been run too much. We got some good but tall storage up here, and that goes all the way across. There's your sink. You have this little thing here that's for your, it's a couple places to plug in, and also some USB for your phone, for your devices. There you go, that remote control. Also have some accent lighting up on top too, so that's kind of neat. This has the more updated looking oven with this little nightlight deal, a couple different brightness levels. For pots and pans down here. I 
like all the, uh, the drawers aren't all beat up inside. Place to put some glassware, looks like, or some stemware. And you have a convection microwave. They haven't even removed the stickers from this stuff yet. These are nice, though. These convection, these high point brand, I used the same kind in my house when we were remodeling the kitchen. We had one of these exact ones, came out of a motor home, sitting on top of a chair, basically. And we used that for two months while we were waiting for the uh, remodel to complete. Over here, what's this? Little small cabinet down below your pantry. And just to point out, this two door refrigerator, which you see a lot in a lot of motorhomes, especially Class C's, this is actually bigger than most of them. Most of them have three shelves or so. Three shelves in this bottom thing. These are the eight cubic foot, not the six cubic foot. So they're a little bit bigger. You get a little bit more uh, space. It definitely makes a difference. Got your freezer. Good time to point out while I'm in here, there aren't any unusual odors. It's very, very clean smelling, smells normal, you know. And um, we go to the bunk area. They have a TV connector and a plug on each one over there and a couple shelves down below. Don't look like they've been used much. Into the bedroom. Your queen bed, nice size uh, side tables, a couple more shelves, and a reading light. Apparently, that's a reading light. Hopefully, that's bright enough to read. I don't know, maybe at night it's a little bit more effective. Got some closet space here. I like that all the original looks like the original package of all the uh, user manuals are intact. That's great to have. A couple more shelves. This is some big shelf here, or drawer rather. And then you got a bunch more over here. Two, three, all decent size too. A couple, like a sock drawer there. And up here you have a place to already attach another thing for a TV. Some people will attach it right on here so you can still open this up and keep it like a, make it into a, the, you know, a small TV is basically your, your cabinet door and you'll just remove that piece. But it's there if you need to do that or if you choose to have another TV back here. Into the bathroom. This is what they call a Jack and Jill bathroom so you can enter from either side. And you've got, um, a pretty decent sized shower. So that'll give you some decent wiggle room, elbow room. Got a medicine cabinet, a little more storage up here, and then a real attic fan. That's a good size, uh, full size attic fan that we've got here. For ventilation so I think yeah, I pretty much covered everything if there's anything else you'd like to see these chairs are nice certainly let me know um, I'm gonna upload this to a channel on YouTube so you can watch it and um, go from there